In this video, I'm going to demonstrate using LaTeX templates that are provided by publishers. So as an example, journal PLOS One, I searched PLOS One LaTeX template. I'm going to the page hosted by the journal. Download the template, and I'll also point out they have contact information for how to reach out to the publishers about questions you have. They have also instructions for this particular journal about how you can submit and other um, sort of aspects and rules. So very helpful guide online. We'll just go with downloading the template. I'm going to pause so I can unzip that in my local folder. All right, I'm in the folder where I have extracted or downloaded and unzipped that zip file, the PlasLaTeX template. Notice there's a few files here. We have a PDF, a tech file, and a BST file. This is the bibliography style file. So some of these templates may have additional files. Some have just um, put their style inside of the tech file. So I want to go to the tech now, my tech maker, and I'm going to open that sample tech file. I don't need to see all of this. Go right here. I'm going to open the tech template. And additionally, I'm going to open that PDF file. All right, so this particular PDF file is more of an example. Sometimes they will have, um, the templates might come, instead of with an example, it might come with a set of instructions. So those are things to look out for, but this would show you what, following the tech file, what you would actually generate right now. This has lines numbers turned on, which is really helpful for drafting stages, and it has the format that this journal requires for tables, this really wide left margin, and it has mostly Latin text or um, you know, other text kind of filling in, and you can see what that would look like properly formatted by the end. So in the actual document, this one, given that there was no README, the comments are an important aspect that tells you what are the instructions. All right, so again, that website had some instructions about what to expect for formatting and figures and such. So that's also a guide. Inside the template, it gives you information that this is a template. You can either work with the template file directly and edit in here, or you can rename a different tech file name um, and work from there. Either one's acceptable. They do say for this one to not delete any of the packages that are already listed, but then you could use as many others as you need to. They also don't want any text to be colored. And everything should be in one single tech file that is submitted to the journal. This is going to differ from how you might do a longer document like a book or a thesis or dissertation. So they have some instructions about where they want their figures to go and how to um, do them to follow their rules. Some manuscripts, journal articles, would include figure files in the tech. Others will not. So this one is asking for you not to do that. And they have some rules about their math and other guidance. So you follow the instructions. It is using the document class article. It has specified inside of the square brackets the options of 10 point and letter paper size. And then it has a number of different use packages that are specified already. And in general, you don't want to change anything about um, the upper content unless you're adding a new package. They also have put in um, a bit of um, other stylistic things are the rules for their style here, instead of putting it in a separate style file. But then you can look, scroll down to find the, or the title. It says that the title must be 250 characters or less, giving you those rules. You can put in customizing your own title. 
uh, and they also ask you to capitalize the first word of that title. And I have new packages that are in here, so it will take a moment. As an aside, I'll point out that this process exited with an error. It exited with an error because my quick build options include running a bibliography file, and this particular tech file does not have an accompanying .bib file, and so there was no bibliography for it to reference. If you want to configure what happens when you do quick build, you can click on options, configure TechMaker, and under the quick build options, you can tell it what you want to happen. So mine was running PDF LaTeX, running BibTeX one time, running PDF LaTeX twice to update all the cross references, and then showing the PDF. If I just, if I know there's no bibliography file to use, I can make my quick build just do PDF LaTeX and then view the PDF LaTeX. I'm going to keep it where it was. I can, with this drop down menu, click PDF LaTeX. I can run it. That actually ran normally. There was no error message. And then I can manually click View PDF. So I see my sample title is now displayed. It has in this template a number of different passable types of extra symbols you might need to denote things. Most of the time, you will not have all of these things. Like it is not common to have, or not every day that an author would be deceased. Uh, it's sometimes true, unfortunately, that those, but they have the case of um, being able to recognize contributors who have passed away before the work gets disseminated. But there's a number of different options here. So some of them might be used, some of them might not be used. And so you can um, comment them out or not use that symbol when they're not needed. So it gives you some template to fill in. Putting in the abstract text, you're going to put in your text there. They, some of them may have information about a word count limit, etc. So you can follow through the rest of the document. The last thing I'll point out about this particular document, um, two things. Notice that the sections are not numbered. If you don't want them to have numbers, you would use the symbol notation section star and then um, the item. If we did not use the star, it will actually number that item. And it would have shown up in a table of contents. So that's the first one that, ever, that got a number. So it became number one, even though that was at the conclusion. To not number it, we put the star. So it gets the formatting of a section, but doesn't get denoted with the numerical value. Finally, I do not recommend this. Here they wanted to be concise with a single document and not have a separate bibliography file. However, I find manually typing each bib in item, the entries for each bibliography, to be extraordinarily tedious because these do not update when you need to change styles. That defeats the entire purpose of using bibliographies in LaTeX. So I 100% do not recommend this. I have a previous video that mentions using the bib file. That's what I would recommend instead. So that's a brief overview of using the PLOS One tech template.